loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I take care of this hair, what products I use, and my absolute do's and don'ts when it comes to my hair. And let me give a quick disclaimer. Yes, this is genetic. I do genetically have very full and thick hair, but this is actually about 50% of what I used to have. I used to have the thickest hair. I think when I would wrap it in a ponytail with those bigger hair ties, I could barely wrap it around twice. So I'd get one tie and then I couldn't get the second. So I've lost a lot of hair and that's mainly because I didn't really take care of my hair. And in the last several years, I am all about loving and nurturing my hair, especially because this is obviously not my natural hair color. Of course, this is not the way my hair styles naturally, but I have found the perfect recipe and I believe that what works for me will work for a lot of people. And I think it's really important to take care of your hair and it's also important what you put into your hair. And so before I go into the products that I use because that seems to be the most popular question that a lot of you girls are asking me, I think I should go into my absolute do's and don'ts because more than anything, more than any products that I use, my hair and the texture of my hair is like this because of the way that I take care of my hair. So let's just get right into my do's and don'ts with my number one, which is I do not wash my hair all the time. There's natural oils that we get in our hair and that when we're constantly washing it, we're ridding our hair of those oils, which helps it grow. So I do not wash my hair every day. I don't wash my hair every two days. I feel like I probably wash my hair every three days, maybe four. And then number two, I let my hair air dry normally so no direct heat goes on to this hair. So typically if I am going somewhere, if I have plans, I will wash my hair the night before because of my hair has a tendency of being a little bit frizzy and letting my hair naturally air dry not only prevents direct heat onto my hair from blow drying or straightening, but it also allows my hair to calm down on its own so I give it a little bit of a breather. So I never blow dry my hair right out of the shower unless I'm going to an event, my hair's completely greasy, it's a last minute event, and I didn't know about it the night before, and in that event, I will do a blow drying technique, which I'll be filming a video on soon. But other than that, I let my hair air dry normally. Number three is when I am styling and I use my hot tools curling iron, I, I do not curl the ends of my hair. It's very rare that I will do curls throughout my hair. I usually like the beach natural wavy look. So what I do is if I'm grabbing a piece of hair like this, I will wrap the hair around, God, like, I will wrap the hair around like this and I will not let the heat touch the tip of my hair because when you let the heat touch the tip of your hair, that's where you get breakage and where you get split ends. There are times that I'm doing a glamorous curl hair look or whatever, however you call it, where you get the glamorous curls where I might go through, but I will stop before I get to the very end because I do not want to fry the ends of my hair. And then tip number four, as we're talking about the bottom of my hair is that I will make sure to get a trim at least every two to two and a half months. Now normally I don't color my hair which is the next thing that I was gonna get into. So number four and five is about coloring and cutting your hair. I normally don't color my hair before the three month mark just because I wanna give my hair just time to breathe from getting bleached and colored and poked and teased and colored and all the things that they do to get your hair this color. And make sure you find yourself a colorist that can show your roots growing out without it really showing. Like a lot of people bump their base and when you bump the base of your hair color, that's how you see the line. So I go to Mossy from Style Bar. I'll make sure to link her information below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my vlog where I go to my colorist. And that was actually about two and a half months ago. So I will be going to her in the next couple weeks. But make sure you ask your colorist to color your hair in a way where you do not see your roots growing out. That way you don't feel tempted to get your hair colored every month, month and a half. But this is the longest I've been able to get my hair in a very long time. And that's because every single time I go, I have her bump it max one, one and a half shades lighter. And that way my hair isn't going from dark brown to blonde. So that's another tip. And then as I'd mentioned, make sure to get your hair trimmed at least every two months. A lot of people think if you get your hair cut that your hair is not gonna grow, that's completely incorrect. You need to get your hair trimmed to kill out the dead ends so your hair can actually grow longer. And if you don't get it trimmed, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna get split ends and those split ends are gonna break off at least an inch or two and then you're gonna have uneven hair and have to cut it out all evenly. So those are my five 
tips when it comes to my do's and don'ts of my hair and believe it or not those five tips make a world of difference with your hair and so i recommend if you haven't already trying it out and next i'm going to get into the products that i use and this first product has been an absolute game changer in my hair routine i got this off amazon this is not given to me this is not a promotion and this is my current go-to hair product and what I mean by current is I'm constantly evolving and finding better products for my skin my body my hair argan oil is amazing especially if you do have frizzy hair not only is it good for your hair but it smells amazing and so anytime I get out of the shower even if I'm not styling my hair and I'm just letting it air dry or sleeping on it before I style it the next day I put this into my hair it smells great you definitely don't want to put a lot on the root of your hair because it'll make your hair oily this is from Amazon and it has tons of great reviews. I'm such an Amazon hoarder. I swear to God, I go on Amazon and I just buy Himalayan salt. I buy argan oil and then just keeping the trend going with the all natural. This is just coconut oil. I did not get this from Amazon. I think I got it from Trader Joe's and I do this to my hair as like a repair treatment. Maybe once every two weeks or once a month. There was a time when I'd originally gone light a few years ago that I had to use this religiously because my hair just felt like hay and it was terrible. This can get really messy and greasy. So I do recommend if you are putting coconut oil in your hair to put this in your hair as a nighttime treatment and then lay out a towel over your pillow so your sheets don't get oil on it. But this is great as an all natural treatment to your hair. I just put it on to the ends of my hair. So I'd say about 50% of my hair. I don't put it on the root or on the top just so it doesn't get oily. And then I make sure to wash it out rigorously the next morning. So this is a great all natural treatment. I'll be filming a video on this soon on how I put it and apply it into my hair. And then a ton of you girls have been asking me what hair shampoo I use. This is color proof. It is the anti-frizz shampoo. It is for color. It is color proof evolved color care anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner. Of course, I get these giant bottles with the pumps because I have a ton of hair. And even though I only wash it every three or four days, I still have a lot of hair and I really like to get it clean. And I got these goodies from Planet Beauty. The one, there's one in Santa Clarita, there's one pretty much everywhere, but Plenty Beauty is one of my favorites. They're always offering like a 25% discount. But apparently this is the same guy who created Purology. I'm, don't quote me on that, that's just what I was told by the representative that worked there, but these are a lot more affordable than the Purology brand. When I'm not using these giant bottles, I am using the Signature Blonde version, which is a purple shampoo and conditioner. Purple shampoo is really good when you are getting the brassiness out of your hair, especially when you do have lighter hair and your toner's washing out with every wash. I use this once a week. It's Signature Blonde Violet Shampoo. It is the conditioner and the shampoo. I only use it one time washing through and then one time for the conditioner as well. And I use this once a week. So this is great if you have lighter hair. So this is pretty much the products that I use in terms of my shampoo and conditioner. And then for styling, this is my go-to hairspray. I've tried every hairspray, expensive designer, stylist, every kind of hairspray you can think of. This is my go-to. It's a Tresemme, larger size. I get the four extra hold. I do not like the five. The five is way too stiff. I feel like the three is not stiff enough. So the four is my go-to. This is obviously the giant size bottle because I run through these like I run through anything or like I drink water or I don't I can't even think of a good analogy, but this is my favorite hairspray. It is the most affordable. I think this can is like $5. I got it from Walgreens or you can get it from Walmart. And now all the rest of the products that I'm going to show you are products that I've used over the last several years and they've worked great for me right now. I'm really big on the argon oil, so I'm using that for the most part, but I'm also using these products individually. So if you are interested in any of these, I will go ahead and show them to you. The first one is the Purology Essential repair and this is specifically for split ends so if you do have a lot of split ends this is a great product to use it also smells smells really good it's actually one of my favorite smelling products it kind of like a coconut oil type smell so it's not too strong it's not too sweet your hair won't smell weird for several days so I just apply this onto my fingertips a small amount and then I run it through the ends of my hair and then the next product is the Purology root lift so if I'm looking for that extra voluminous hair and I really want to get a lot of volume in the back of my hair I will lift it up section it out and then pump this into the root you don't even need to tease you just massage this into the back of your hair and then when you're styling it, make sure to blow dry it up. And I'll do a video where I use a lot of these products. But this is great if you're looking for that extra volume in the front or in the back of your hair. And then this is the Redken Thermal Protector. 
It is 11, iron shape 11. And actually my stylist uses this uh, spray as well. So when I go to visit her and I get my hair colored, this is what she puts into my hair. Ironically, I have this because I was working an event. It was an InStyle Magazine event. I forget what event it was. And they were giving these away for free. This is what I was using before I got the Argon Oil. I still think this is great, but I definitely recommend if I were to choose between the two, I would go with the Argon Oil. This was free. I ended up loving it. It's $17.50. Also smells great. I feel like I'm smelling all the hair care products. I feel like the way the products smell is really important. You wanna make sure that you're getting really good scents and it's not really strong. So this is a great little spray to use before you are styling your hair. So you just apply it to your wet hair. Smells great, feels great, very lightweight. It's not gonna make your hair look greasy. You just apply it to it before you add any heat and make sure it's very important because I'm sure Mossy's watching this. If you are styling your hair, it's very important to get a heat protector or a thermal protector for your hair. Otherwise, that is how you burn your hair. And then another color proof, and this is specifically for people with blonde or bleached hair. This is great. It's a restorative serum that you put into your hair, especially if your ends are getting fried or your hair doesn't feel as soft as it used to be. This is a great restorative filler. It's for treated and colored hair specifically if it is bleached, and that's why it's called Signature Blonde. So I will use this also once a week when I use my purple shampoo. And then the last product that I use, and I still do use this, I really do love the Kerastase brand. This is a lot more expensive than the other products that I showed you. This is $27.97, so it's about $30. A little bit goes a long way, so you only need to put a little bit onto the palm of your hands and then you run it through the ends of your hair. I never run any of these products from the root of my hair just because I feel like anytime I put in these products in the root of my hair, my hair gets oily, so I recommend avoiding the front strands and then also onto the root. Just run it through the bottom and then through the middle. And so that pretty much sums up my hair care routine and the products that I use for my hair to get this voluminous healthy hair or as healthy as it can be. But I hope you guys like this video. If you take anything away from this video, just remember to follow my five absolute do's and don'ts. I feel like that's way more important than any other products that I use. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. I absolutely adore you all. Thank you for all of you guys who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.